So the Coalition just announced a new Gears of War 4 Horde variant coming next week called Gears of War 4 Anything Goes Horde. What is it, and how is it going to change Horde moving forward? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, it's Chris with Blind Man's Bluff Gaming. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing awesome today. If you're new to the channel, are you looking for more Gears of War 4 Horde Tips and Tricks videos? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now I have a quick PSA for you guys. The Gears of War 4 Carmine Packs are now available for 2,000 credits or you can buy the 10 card pack which guarantees you one or more characters for $10. Now the Gears of War 4 Carmine packs contain the normal versions of Anthony, Benjamin, and the return of Clayton Carmine. You can also get June's craftable character early, the Spectre Swarm. And it comes with two new weapon skins, the Carmine and the King Raven weapon skins. Now if you have any buddies you want to get into Gears of War 4, they're having a free trial that started yesterday running through Thursday the 15th. New players will be able to play Gears of War 4 for up to 10 hours, and I believe the campaign is locked at only the first act, but as far as Horde and Versus, play as much as you want up to 10 hours, and the awesome thing is they have bonus packs you get for being a new player, like level 1 you get an extra pack, when you reach level 2 you get an extra pack, level 3 and so forth, and it's pretty awesome. Now here's a pro tip, if you have a buddy that has the developer's playlist, Jump in with them to do some Horde and you'll get some double XP and level up really fast. Now to give new players a consistent experience in Horde so they can learn how to play it like we did, they've removed Feral Horde temporarily. An update on the future of Horde. Now I have some news that's going to be disappointing for some, me included, that Rod Ferguson confirmed in last Sunday's Rodcast that the Coalition is not currently working on bringing the Locust into Gears 4 Horde, simply because it would be a ridiculous amount of work for them to do it. Another thing is, a few months ago, Pez Radar, the former Coalition Communication Director, said in an interview on TACCOM that they're not working on any new classes. Alrighty then. Now they haven't said or confirmed that they're not working on any future new skills for Horde, so maybe we'll get that down the line. But I think it's a good idea just to let that stuff go and just appreciate Horde for what it is right now. However, I do have some really, really good news that they are bringing what they're calling Gears of War for Anything Goes Horde. Welcome to another edition of Thunderdome! This is a new Horde variant that provides a completely randomized set of enemies every wave. However, boss waves will still be boss waves, so you're not going to get a snatch or a carrier on wave 1. Now one of my good Horde teammates, Lunchbox360, had a really good idea that we suggested to the Coalition about the boss waves. Now normally if you defeat a boss quickly, say like the snatcher, you get another snatcher and even a third snatcher. Lunchbox's idea was that the second and sometimes third boss should also be random. So for example, if your first boss is a snatcher and you kill him quickly, your second boss, that wave could be a carrier, swarmat, kestrel, or even another snatcher. Now personally, I think this is a really good idea and I hope they either had that idea already or they're implementing it because I think that would really be cool just to add as much variety as possible into Horde. Now, Gears of War 4 Anything Goes Horde is going to be a playlist option starting next week. They haven't announced the date, date yet, and it's going to last all through June and potentially beyond. It's going to be pretty much like a beta test in a way, kind of like Feral Horde was, just to test it out, see what people are doing with it, and see if it's too hard or too easy, and uh, go from there. And the way it sounds is, if it does work, they're going to just go ahead and make it part of Horde moving forward or, or have a separate playlist or something like that, which I think is a phenomenal idea and one that uh, 
you know we've we've really been waiting for i think horde currently can be a lot of fun i am having fun a lot of fun with some of the new horde skills some of them like uh, some of the soldier ones, eh, I don't know. I mean, they're okay. Uh, maybe if I get them all the way to level 6, they'll be a lot better. I don't know. But uh, the sniper skills, man, I highly suggest checking those out. Because Called Shot is a freaking beast, man. Check that out. That, that skill is amazing. If you are looking to stay up to date with the latest Gears of War 4 Horde Tips and Tricks videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Until next time guys, this is Chris, have an awesome one.